So this problem says to evaluate the integral below by interpreting, inter, um, interpreting it in terms of the area of the figure. The areas of the labeled regions are a1 is equal to 5, a2 is equal to 3, a3 is equal to 2, and a4 is equal to 1. And we're looking for the integral from 3 to 7, so notice that it's only going from 3 to 7, of 1 plus f of x dx. So the first step I would take, and there's different ways to do this one. By the way, if you um, start the problem and you started it a different way, feel free to leave the way that you started in the comments, and then I can make a new video explaining how to do it from a different starting point if you would like to see that. But the way that I would start this one is to first use the property that if we have two things that are added inside an integral, we can break it up into two integrals and to make it the integral from 3 to 7 of 1 dx plus, so I'm taking the first term first, and then adding the integral from 3 to 7 of f of x dx. And now I'm going to take these two integrals separately. So the integral of 1 is x, so let's take the integral of 1 to be x, and we need to evaluate that from 3 to 7. And then adding on the integral of the function. We, don't, we can't find the original function, but we know that we can take the areas under the curve, or between the curve and the x-axis, um, where the area under the curve, by convention we call that a negative area, and areas over the curve above the curve, we will take that by convention as a positive area. So let's take this integral. Basically it's going to be, um, because we're only going from 3 to 7, the first area under the curve would be this one, which is a negative area, negative a2. And then we also take the area of a3, but because it's above the curve, we're going to take it as a positive. And I'm only going between 3 and 7 again, because that, those are my limits of integration. From here, we can use the evaluation technique of just plugging in the top minus the bottom. So that makes 7 minus 3 for plugging in for this piece. And the a2, we are given that is 3, so plugging in that a2 is 3 gives us minus 3 and then plus the a3, a3 is 2 so plus 2 and we just need to simplify from here so 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1 and 1 plus 2 is 3 so the final answer would be 3. I hope this video solution was helpful for you and um, Please subscribe to my channel so that you can and hit the notification bell so that you can see when I make new videos. Also like and share with anybody who you think might find this information useful. And um, leave a, a question in the comments if you'd like to see a video, if you'd like to see a similar video worked out of your homework help solution. Thanks for watching.